Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought I would sit down and test out the BYS All Day Wear range. This is a fairly new range to the BYS line. If I look a hot mess and tired it is because I am. It's early in the morning so I thought what better way to do like a foundation, face powder and concealer test than right now. I'm heading out for the day so yeah. Also if you can hear my little daughter Skylar She's tuning in for today's video. Today's video in the background over here. Moving along. So yeah, so we're gonna be testing out the BYS All Day Wear range. This has been requested from quite a few people and I thought this would be a good video for you guys. So if you just want to see how this wears and my thoughts and opinions and whatnot, then please just keep on watching. Okay, so I thought I would zoom you guys right in. Obviously I'm bare face, I don't have anything on my face. My face is just clean, doesn't even have moisturizer or primer or anything. I'm just gonna go like this as is. So yes, we have the All Day Wear Foundation, which looks like this. You get a pump, obviously mine's messy because I do use mine quite a bit. You get 30 mils in this and I got mine in natural beige. So the little blurb on the back says, achieve a flawless base that lasts with BYS All Day Wear Foundation. This high performance liquid foundation melts seamlessly into the skin and doesn't cake or flake, offering buildable coverage. It's formulated with a skin nurturing argan oil to boost hydration levels. It also says it's got antioxidants with vitamin E to help skin keep skin soft and smooth, peptides and vitamin C to help promote good skin tone, and hyaluronic acid to help restore skin elasticity. So honestly, it sounds amazing as a foundation. So today I'm actually gonna wear it with no primer. I'm just gonna put it on bare skin. I usually do use this with primer. Um, I've tried it with a few different primers. I do enjoy it, but I thought I would come on camera and show you guys and try it with no primer, seeing as I haven't actually tried it with no primer. So yeah, let's just go in with this. So I'm just gonna take like two pumps on the back of my hand and that's how much two pumps sort of gives me and I'm going to use it, apply it with my Kmart sponge and I'm just gonna bounce that into the skin. Now obviously using a sponge is gonna soak up quite a bit more product than if you were to use a brush. I could use a brush on this side of my face so maybe we'll do that but I usually just apply my foundations with sponges these days. That's kind of just what works for me and what I like. That is my child, blurting and carrying on. She wants to get in on mummy's YouTube videos. So the only downfall I will say about this foundation is that it is pink toned, so it might not look too bad now, but it definitely will oxidize. I know that for a fact. I mean, it's not too, too bad. I can live with it, but I have more like yellow neutral undertones. So being pinky, I just have to make sure I bring it down my neck and blend it quite well. So here is the coverage with the sponge side. You can still see a bit of my redness peeking through. However, it looks glowy, natural, radiant, and it does say a buildable coverage. So I would usually go in and build this up and take into consideration that we did use a sponge. So a sponge is gonna soak up the product. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. I mean, the shade isn't too bad. Also, I will say this is the second lightest shade and it suits me. I mean, I'm not dark, but I don't think I'm that pale either. So there's only one shade up above from this and I think it is pretty pale. Although I don't think the shade range is great in general. So I apologize. So I did use both pumps on my hand. So I'm just gonna go in and pump again. Also, I forgot to mention to you guys, that this foundation is $11.95, so definitely a reasonable price. I need like a flat brush, so here we go. I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild flat top brush. Take some with a brush. I'm not actually sure how to apply this with a brush. And I'm just gonna pat, 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 and buff into the skin. Okay, so here is the brush side. I love how luminous and skin-like this foundation looks. It's just stunning. Here is my face after both 
applications. I think it does look fairly good on both sides. As you can see, it's not that bad of a match. I just have to kind of bring it down my neck. It helps when I wear something high necked like this. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in and build it up and then come back. Okay, so here's how my face is looking after four pumps of the foundation or three and a half, sort of when you pump twice, it goes one full and then a half. So yeah, three and a half to four pumps, whatever. I usually use that amount anyway. I do like a full coverage. Also, if I forgot to mention, my skin type is I'm oily in the T-zone. So my oils will come through in the T-zone throughout the day. However, around the rest of my face, I'm quite normal. It can always change though. My skin is always changing. So here's how the foundation is looking. It definitely is really nice coverage. I wouldn't say it's full, full coverage, but I do love the look of this foundation. And then once you put your concealer on and your powder, it honestly looks flawless. So let's go in with the next step, the all day wear concealer. Now, as you can see, this is a lot lighter and this one's in the shade ivory. So I got ivory to kind of balance out the pinky tone in the foundation. So I'm just going to apply this under my eyes, all the places that I would highlight. So I just do three stripes. I do a few dots down my nose and just bring the center of my face out a bit and just blending out with my sponge. Okay, so here is what the concealer looks like blended out. Obviously, it's quite a lighter shade, so it is going to make the high points, you know, like the middle of my face stand out and brighten those areas, which is actually what I like in my concealers anyway. So I think it balances out amazing. And obviously, this range is supposed to work together really well if it is made to be together. So yeah, I am super happy with how that looks. Now we're gonna go in with the all day wear powder. I also got this one in the shade ivory. Not sure why I got ivory. I probably could have went for the one darker. This one's probably great for under the eyes. I mean, I am gonna use it to set my whole face anyway, but I just use a super light hand. So we're just gonna go under the eyes first. And I usually take that on my beauty blender. So I'll just take a little bit and just press it into the skin. I just dab, 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 and dab, 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 those areas where we just concealed, and just lightly press it in. Also, I just do the middle of my face. And then taking a big fluffy brush. Now, this is a super pigmented powder, so I just use it lightly and sparingly. And obviously, because it is a little light, I don't go too crazy. And here is my face set. So this powder does an amazing job of mattifying. If you're oily, you need this powder in your life. Sorry, if I didn't mention, the concealer, I believe, is $8.95 and the powder is also $8.95. So I believe all three, you can get them for, what, $32? Don't quote me. Let's get my calculator out. And Skylar is overexcited. So $29.75 for the trio. I think that is a great deal. I think this trio is highly worth that money. Obviously, it depends where you buy it, but I believe that's kind of the standard rate. So yeah, I'm going to go off, finish the rest of my face, and then I'll show you guys what products look like layered on top of this. I'm probably not going to go for a super dramatic look today, just because I'm going out, hanging out with my parents, going out for lunch, whatever. So it's probably just going to be a super casual look. But yeah, I will see you guys in just a sec. I'll give you a close up of how this looks before I go and put products on top of it. So here is the overall completed look and the wear of the BYS All Day Wear Foundation, Concealer and Powder. I did apply this first at 1040. 
It is now 11.30, so it's been on for about 40, 50 minutes now. Um, Skylar's finally down, so that means I could get this a little outro in. So I'll definitely come back and do a check-in, maybe later on when I get back from my errands for the day. So yeah, it's already been on for about 40 minutes already, and it looks really good. I love how this looks. As you can see, once powder, bronzer, highlight, and everything is on, it doesn't look too bad in terms of shade range, but yeah. That is how it first applies, how products layer on top of it. I'm gonna go about my day and I'll see you guys in my first check-in later on, but you'll be about one second. Okay, you guys, so I'm coming at you with my final update for the night. It has been just over seven hours. I am gonna keep wearing this, but as you can see, I'm in a different outfit. I'm actually just gonna to head to the gym, go about my night. Now, as you can probably see, my oils have come through. I mean, it doesn't look horrible. I could continue to wear this, but I'm the type of person who would typically powder anyways and see how this face is looking. So obviously that's just glow, like highlight, 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 but you can see the oils coming through on the side of my nose, slightly on my chin. Definitely happens through my T-zone. It's actually stayed put quite well considering Skylar's always touching my face, she's hands on. So yeah, if you're a fellow mum, you kind of know what that's about. Or if you have someone that touches your face a lot, or if you touch your face a lot, then yeah, it's actually held through really well, just my oils. So that could be fixed easily with a bit of powder. So if I just go in with the all day wear powder and just tap my beauty blender in. Now this is quite light. I could even just blot it out with my beauty blender. So let's just tap over my teaser where my oils are and that is all pretty much good how I would wear it. But considering it got quite hot today, I was running around, now I'm about to go to the gym. So yeah. So yeah, this trio is under $30. I would highly recommend it. I'll link places where you can buy it down below. You guys might even see me use it well, I know for a fact you'll see me use it in upcoming tutorials and whatnot. Also, if you're thinking it, yes, a BYS updated one brand tutorial is coming very soon because I have so many products, but my opinion on this all day wear range, is it worth it? I think so. I think it would suit multiple skin types. I'm quite oily. And like I said, I got hot, I get sweaty. I get hot and sweaty pretty easily without a doubt. So I think this would work great for you if you're any oilier or more dry than me. But yeah, just through my T-zone, as you guys saw before I powdered with my sponge, it was looking a little bit oily, but you know, now I could go on for probably another couple of hours and it still look amazing. I am going to the gym, so it's not really gonna matter too much. And also I'm losing lighting, so I thought I would come and give you my update. Usually, usually typically people would probably wear their foundation if they work a normal day, eight to nine hours. I definitely think that this would hold out if you powder. I would definitely need to powder probably with most foundations. It didn't claim to be matte or anything, so you can't expect that kind of cause from it. But other than that, I do love it regardless. It doesn't bother me. I love the look of it. Like, I think it looks great. I love the concealer as well as the powder. I would highly recommend this trio. It gets my tick of approval, so definitely go check it out. I'll have where you can buy it linked down below. I hope that you can buy it in Kmart soon if it's not already available, but yeah, I'll have all information linked down below for you guys. I really hope you like my first, not first impressions, more of you because I have tested this out. I've decided that I'm not really going to do first impressions much anymore because I feel like they're just useless. So I'm definitely using things behind the scenes and getting my opinion and then coming on camera, sharing with you guys what it looks like, doing a wear test and then giving you a thought, my thoughts and opinions rather than just using it once and being like at the end of the day, yeah, this is great because some things work on some days, other days not with different primers. So yeah, I'm definitely not doing first impressions anymore. I'm just still doing foundation reviews. So yeah, I think they're more helpful. Like I appreciate, you know, a review more so to a first impression these days, but that's just my personal opinion. So I hope you guys liked my review of the all day wear range from BYS. 100% tick of approval from me. If you guys want to see me review any other foundations coming up, I definitely think I want to do this one here, which is the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. I think this will be my next review. If you guys want to see it, give the video a thumbs up. That lets me know that you guys want to see it, but I definitely think I want to do it anyways because 
this has been hyped on the internet this has just dropped on cosmetic capital so yeah let me know in the comments if you guys want to see it also if you've made it this far to the end of the video i just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for your love and support on my haul and update video like i have not had so many overwhelming amazing kind words and kind comments in a very long time so i'm so glad that everyone is still here for me and you know was happy for me to be away and understood like I just I couldn't get over everyone's understanding and how amazing you guys were so thank you for all the love on that video if you haven't checked out that haul and want to see kind of what I'm talking about then I'll have it linked down below and up in the cards but yes thank you guys so much for all your support and your love and it just truly meant so much to see those comments and I literally replied to everyone on that video and if I haven't yet then I'll definitely be replying to yours I'm definitely gonna make it more of a habit now to be able to reply to each and every single one of you guys because I love it so much. So yeah, sorry for the little blubber at the end, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little review on this trio. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.